looks like the first person I can see on here. Miss B, how are you? Hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How's everybody doing? Welcome in. Hello. Happy Saturday, everybody. Ron Wilson, welcome in. Thomas Smith, hello. Welcome, welcome. Happy Saturday, everybody. How are you all doing today? I hope y'all are having a great weekend. Andre, welcome in. Debbie Parker, hello. Latika, hi. McKaylee, hello. Maddie Watts, hello. Tamika, hello. Tommy. Thomas Smith, welcome, welcome. Alyssa, well, how, do, how do I say your name? Janetta. Nicole Stucco, hello. On the move, hello. Kenya Bryant, hello. Lakeisha, Johanna, welcome in. Happy, 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 happy Saturday to each and every one of you all. Today, cake is on the menu. I'm going to show you all how to make this delicious cake. Um, I've showed you all previously how to do it in videos, but I figured I could come live and really show you how to make it, right? So we are making this cake live. It's going to be delicious. Gwen, welcome in. Chanel, welcome. Excuse me, Jackie and Jean. Mildred, hello. Ron Anderson, hello. Tommy, welcome in. Samantha K. Coffee, hello. Pamela, Paula. If I happen to miss your name, Charlene Bell, welcome in. Deku, hello. If I miss your name, please forgive me. I'm just one person, y'all. I'm just one person. Sometimes it's hard to just continuously you know, like stare at the screen to call everybody's name off. It's just impossible. I hope y'all are having a great day today. Eula, hello, and Adrian, hello. Latricia, hello. Robert Lewis, welcome back in. We are going to have a good time today. If I have time and if I feel like it, I might cook my dinner as well, but we'll, we'll just see. We'll see about that. Well, depending on how I'm feeling. Okay, let's get this live up and going on the computer. Come on. Okay. Let me turn the computer down. Earn Irma or Erna Erna, hello. You just got your A friend. Oh, and you love it. Well, wow, thank you, that's great. There's some really nice merch over there, y'all. And listen, I just have to tell you all, if you have not checked out my merch, we have all types of stuff that's great. We have aprons, just like they said. We have coffee mugs, yes, yes, yes. There's um, slides, like flip-flop slides and t-shirts and hoodies there's all kind of stuff so when you get a chance maybe even today if you want to look down below and check out all of the merch that i have it's really exciting just to look in the merch store to see what new stuff we have okay if i can get this live going <laughs> denise billups and ashton bull welcome how are you all doing I hope you all are having a great day today. Stephanie Davis, Miss Karen, Charlene Bell, I and Debbie Parker again. T. Smith, welcome, welcome, welcome. Valencia Pickett. Hey, Sonia, how are you? Glenda Sapp, Jewel, hello. Javerlin, how do I say your name? Let me see. J Javerlin, am I saying that right? Javerlin, I, I don't know. Welcome, welcome. If you are new, let me know that you're new. Okay, what's that? What is somebody saying? Gina, I like your hat. Thank you. Yes, Ron, we can see you. How you doing? 
Welcome in. I'm doing well, thanks. Oh, you're very welcome. Yes, Ron, you're welcome. All right, so Tommy Painter, hello. Here's what we're gonna be doing. We're making cake and I'm not gonna just sit here and talk and wait. We're getting ready to get started right now. But what you all need to do is, if you realize you have not given a thumbs up, give the live a thumbs up. So what I'm looking at, I can see everybody that's in here, 208 of you all. I can see who, who's all in here and who's given a thumbs up. Only 86 people has given a thumbs up. Give the live a thumbs up. I can see you, Rhonda Prelo. Uh, give the live a thumbs up. I'm here to show you all a great time. Now, if you have great topics, good conversation that we can keep going on, guess what I want you to do? I want you to grab a pen, a pencil, and a piece of paper. Write those topics down and we can keep the good conversation going. Because if there's one thing that I absolutely love is when we are on here and we got a good conversation going that everybody's excited about. So now let me get up, get my apron on. We're going to get started. I'm going to put my microphones on. And um, I want to talk about, while I'm getting my microphones on, let's talk about the ingredients we're going to be using today. Kath Williams, hello, you're welcome. Let me turn this microphone on. Um, okay, our ingredients. German chocolate boxed cake mix. Now, some of you might, right now, you're gonna say, uh, can I make my homemade German chocolate cake? Absolutely you can if you want to, right? You can, but really you don't have to. So I got the German chocolate box cake mix. We got toffee pieces, okay? Smucker's caramel or any kind of caramel that you can find in the like the ice cream topping section of your local market One can of sweetened condensed milk I'm gonna use some vanilla extract that we're gonna add to our cake mix and of course for our cake mix We're gonna be using a half a cup of oil We're gonna use one and one fourths cup of water and three large eggs we will be using Cool Whip as well. The Cool Whip is gonna be the icing, but we're gonna do something special to the Cool Whip to give it even more flavor. All right, so I got the microphone set up. Let's connect it to the camera, and we're gonna get started. Happy Saturday. Hello, Mary Graham. My Holy King, welcome back in. Oh, Pixie, you said you don't know how to bake? Well, I tell you what, this is gonna be a really easy recipe for you. You're gonna like to make this recipe, you will. You're just catch, you're just catching, what, what do you say? What do you say, Ron? I can understand your message. Hold on, let me look at this um, microphone. Okay, I think it's right. Hi, Marianne, how are you? Did you say this is another bomb recipe? Oh, Miss Sway, you bet it is. Oh, you're gonna love it, you're gonna love it. What I love about this, oh, up, okay, I'm sorry. You're taking notes. What I love about this recipe, y'all, is that, um, hold on, let's fix this computer. What I love about this recipe, we gotta talk about it real quick, real quick. When we make this cake, we turn around and we're gonna pour caramel down into the cake. The caramel goes into the cake and as the caramel is going down into this cake, we turn around, take the cake, we put it in the refrigerator so that caramel can stop right in the middle of those holes, right? Mm, mm, mm. You ain't never had cake with caramel in the inside. This cake is gonna turn your whole life around. It's interesting and it's so easy to make. Oh, your breakfast tips are life-changing. Well, thank you. I love y'all. Thank you all for coming in. Make sure to give a thumbs up. If you look up and you realize that you did not already give a thumbs up, make sure to give a thumbs up. All right, so let's get our apron on and let's get started. We can really have fun. Chris 
Christopher, welcome back in. Welcome, welcome. Little bit, little bit says I gave a thumbs up. Okay, that's great, Brenda Hill. Welcome back in. Yes, German chocolate cake. Here, here's the thing. I have to say this, y'all. I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of chocolate cake. Never been. Never been. My favorite type cake is a yellow cake or a white cake. It, it's, it's just the truth, right? So um, when I discovered this recipe and when I made it, I thought this cake stands up against any of my favorite cakes that I absolutely love. And this is one time that I don't mind having chocolate cake. Let's get ready to rock and roll. Bring the thumbs up up. Wash your hands. Let's do it. Oh, you love chocolate and yellow cake. Okay. All right, let's get the lighting set up. Now, if you, let's just say you go to try to make this recipe and for some reason your local market doesn't have these Heath toffee pieces. See that English toffee bits, okay? English toffee bits. If for some reason your local market doesn't have them, you can use a big Heath candy bar. You know how they have the big, huge candy bars? You can do that and you can break that baby down and use that. I've even seen people use like Reese's Pieces or some type of nut on top of this recipe. And the reason why they did that was because they couldn't find the toffee pieces. But if you look hard enough and you search several stores, you'll be able to find toffee pieces. Okay, or you might just be that person that says um, that you want M&Ms on yours. You know, put what you want on the top. But the best thing that I have figured out is those toffee pieces on top if you can find it. You just added them to your cart. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's get started. All right, y'all. I'm coming around. Turn that music down. We're going to wash our hands. I have my oven. Our oven's already preheated to uh, 350 degrees. I have a 9 by 12 baking pan, which when it comes to like a cake pan, I always use the 9 by 12. Sometimes they say 9 by 13. That's fine as well. Okay. I always get the disposable kind because when my cake is done or if I'm taking it to someone's house, I can just leave that pan over their house and then you don't have to worry about somebody keeping your pan forever. And it's just quick. You just fold it up and toss it away when you're done, you know. All right, let me get my hands nice and clean. Bring that over here, and we're going to plug it up so I can see everybody's comments. Welcome in. If you're new, let us know that you're new so we can welcome you in such a way. And if I happen to miss your name, I apologize ahead of time. The people in the background would love to welcome you as well. We got the core. Or do I need it right now? I can wait a minute? Okay. So, normally when you all see me make a cake, I use my stand-up mixer. I'm not, I'm not doing that today. Uh-uh-uh. I'm using my handheld mixer that has two beaters. And if you don't want to use this or you just simply don't have one, it's okay to use a bowl and a wooden spoon to mix everything together. Okay? So make sure your oven is preheated 350 degrees, less rock and roll. Anybody have any serious questions? Okay, hold on. Oh, hold on, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, if anyone has any questions for Gina while baking. Thank you, Mildred, thank you, thank you, and welcome back in. Okay, this is great, this is great. Okay, so I can see everybody's messages. We're ready to go. I'm gonna grab my eggs out and show you how easy this cake, this cake, this is the cake that my family asks for when it's birthdays. 
when it's special days, when it's the holiday, this is the cake that they ask for. But make it any day, any day of the week. Doesn't have to be a special occasion because it's so stinking easy to make. Let me grab my eggs and we're gonna do it. Three large eggs. Okay. And now, let's just say um, you are not able to find this specific cake mix. Let's just say you can find, let's see, this one's Betty Crocker. Let's just say you are able to find Duncan Hines or, or some different brand, but it is German chocolate cake mix. Always look at the back. When I put the ingredients, I'm putting the ingredients that my cake mix calls for. Your cake mix might call for butter, milk, and eggs. You see, do you see what I'm saying? And if it does, then that's what you use so you don't mess up your cake. Since mine call for the oil, the water, and the eggs, we're gonna begin and get started. Hi, Brenda, hello. Tony, welcome in. It smells like bacon in here, y'all. It's because I was making bacon just a couple of hours ago in the oven and I have the oven preheating right now. It smells so good. All right, so I got a nice bowl here and I have my contents of my cake mix. Anytime I make a pre-made cake mix, I always sneak in a little bit extra vanilla. It just really makes it taste good, okay? Pixie Dust, welcome in. It's nice to see you all speaking to each other. All right. Cake mix just like so. I did, I'm hearing music. Where is the music coming from? Is it down, is the music downstairs? Okay, eggs, you need them. Three large eggs. <laughs> Get in there. Happy Saturday, welcome if you're just now coming in. Beautiful, nice fresh eggs. Remember to write down questions that you want to ask me possibly or good conversation topics. Write it down. That way when I come around to talk, we'll have good stuff to talk about. We'll be able to keep the conversation going, okay? I look for a good conversation. Good conversation keeps me going. Nice amount of vanilla for me. Uh-oh, my Holy King said, time to party. You bet it is. It's always time to party when Jenny Young comes live. All right, a half a cup vegetable oil. Now, you need to be the person that says, I, I don't want any oil, right? If you're that person, use a half a cup of unsweetened applesauce. It makes it nice and moist, and it does the same trick that the oil would do, okay? So I'm putting my half a cup in. I put three large eggs in, and I snack some vanilla in there. I'm going to put one and one fourths cup of cold water. Never put warm, never put hot, of course. You know, you know you don't want to do that. All right, one and one fourths cup. Let's do it. And then I'm going to show you something. When you are, I'll show you when I come around. Hold on, y'all. Let me see if I got the right measurements. So now let's talk about what well, this is really important. It's just a, a, a nice thing that I like to tell people. When you're measuring something in a measuring cup like this, you can't look at it, excuse me, from this way and think that you have the right measurement. It'll look like it. From here it will. But you have to come down to eye level to see if it's perfect, okay? That's how you look at it. Look at it from eye level, and then you're able to distinguish whether what your liquid is, if it's up to the right measurement, okay? So one and one-fourths cup of cold water is going in just like so. And I tell you what, it smells good already. <laughs> you bet it does. It smells good. All right. Look, I don't know if it's going to rain or what. My goodness. It's like it's getting cloudy out. It was beautiful out this morning. 
the sun was shining, and now it kind of looks like maybe it could possibly rain. I, I don't know. All right, so I'm going to go right in and begin to mix this up. I'm going to start off on a low speed, but when I'm using this, I always like to begin to mix it up just like this before I start my speed. Okay, that, that's just what I like to do. Let me see. Let's make sure I got this plugged in because I don't think I do. You check that in and make sure it's plugged up. It's not? Okay. I knew it couldn't be plugged up because it didn't turn on when I pushed that button. There we go. It smells so good, y'all. Always have a soft spatula so you can Scrape the sides and scrape the bottom, making sure that you're getting everything nice and mixed up, okay? You know what I'm talking about. Sometimes these devices, they just don't mix it all the way, you know? And you don't want to have cake mix that just didn't get mixed in, right? Because inside of our cake mix, there's ingredients that has to get well incorporated. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this aside. Y'all, let me, let's talk about the time. <laughs> we'll talk, somebody remind me about the time where my finger got stuck in between here and the two beaters were moving. It was, we'll talk about it now. It was one of the worst things ever. And I tell you what, it hurt. It hurt. I can't remember if I was making mashed potatoes or I was making dessert, but my finger got stuck in between the two beaters as they were moving and I couldn't get my finger out. And when my finger, I'm serious. And when my finger was stuck, it hurt so bad I couldn't figure out how to turn the thing off. Because I was freaking out a little bit, you know, when all I had to do was push the release button to take the beaters out. But that wasn't fun. That was, that was a horrible experience. <laughs> I know, I know you guys are tripping out right now, right? Oh, you remember that? <laughs> did I tell you all or did that, did I tell you all or did that happen live? I, I don't know. Okay, so now that we got our cake mix done, making sure your oven is nice and preheated is very, very, very always important, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I wanna turn around and oil this. There is a cake um, oil that has oil and flour if you want to use that. Normally, I'll just take some oil onto a paper towel and then I flour this and then I'll pack excess flour into the trash can. Okay, but since I got some spray, I'm going to spray this over my trash can. You can do it over your sink as well. All right, get that nice and sprayed, and then we're going to add some flour. The purpose for doing this, of course, is because you don't want your cake to stick, right? So now we're going to coat the bottom. See how it's coating? Okay, and then I'll do the sides over my trash can. My oven is preheated, 350 degrees. We plan on cooking this cake for around about 30 to 33 minutes. We'll just see, but just remember that oven temperatures may vary. My oven might cook faster than yours or slower than yours, okay? But how you can tell that your cake is done properly is you're always going to take a um, toothpick, put it down into the cake, and if the toothpick comes out nice and clean and not a lot of pieces on it, it's done. Or you can take a fork, you can take a um, butter knife as well and do the same thing, okay? So now that I have flour everywhere, <laughs> because I do, 
There's flour everywhere. I'm okay with it. Let's go ahead and get our cake mix right into our pan just like so. And then I have to show you something that is amazing. It is a, we're going to make a sauce, okay? We're going to make a sauce out of the caramel and the sweetened condensed milk. But right now what we have to do is pour our cake mix into our pan and get the cake batter into the oven and get it started cooking. So if you can come in and show everybody what everything's looking like and everybody can get all excited, I'm going to purposely leave some cake mix in the bowl so we can look at is there anybody, anybody out there? Yeah, I have to. I have to. Oh, mm -hmm. I know. Somebody's screaming right now. Mm. Somebody's screaming, Gina, don't do it. There's raw eggs in it. I've done this since I was little, and I'm going to continue. You want, you want some? <laughs> do you want some? Yes or no? Okay, okay. Mm. I'm going to wash my hands. Don't worry. Relax. It tastes good. I mean, it tastes good. I'm washing my hands because I know there's some food police out there, so we're going to get our hands nice and clean. Is the batter delicious? <laughs> okay. Yes, he says yes. All right, let's get this into the oven just like so. Grandma always told me, knock it on the counter a couple times, get the air bubbles out. So that's what I do. Anytime I'm making a cake, knock it a few times because grandma said so. Knock it a few times. Cake is in there. We plan on cooking it for 30 to 33 minutes. I'm going to turn the timer on. That way I don't forget my cake because sometimes we can start having a good time in here and then I forget all about my cake. So there's the timer. Now what we're going to do is something really exciting. We have to mix. The reason why I like to say Smucker's Caramel is because, because this Smucker's Caramel is a 12.25 ounce of caramel. It doesn't have to be this one, but if you want the right measurements, if you can find the Smucker's, that's what I want you to use. Because um, one time I used the off-brand caramel. It, oh, it's just as delicious, right? But it had it was a bigger container and it messed up the cake because I didn't realize that I was using too much caramel. So this one is the perfect amount. We're gonna use all of this and we're gonna use all of this sweetened condensed milk. So this is what we're gonna do. Uh oh, Miss Sway says, mmm, I'm making it all for myself. You are, <laughs> you are, okay. All right, so watch this. If the camera can come in, you want to wash your hands because I, I know you was all into that bowl like this. You want to wash your hands real quick or you're good? Did you lick it off? <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, here's what we're going to do. Take the sweetened condensed milk, one full can. You bet, one full can. Okay. Take a soft spatula just to get all that lovely gorgeousness out, right? You have to. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all, this is a secret cake. And Gina Young is here to show you how to do it today. It's easy peasy. You're going to love it. You, whoever you make it for, if you're trying to win somebody over, this cake does the trick. <laughs> if you're trying to be romantic, this cake does the trick. If you're trying to surprise somebody with just a great dessert, this cake this cake is it. Look at this. Come on in. <laughs> Show the people. We're going to use this whole jar of Smucker's Caramel. Get it all out. So we're going to take our time just to let that come out. Okay. And if you have a spoon or something that can fit in there, then we'll see if we can scrape it out. Yeah, I'm so glad. Okay. So that fits in there. Perfect. Let's get all that caramel out of there. Next, we're going to mix the two together. Oh, yes. I, I know what you're saying right now. This looks easy. You bet it is. Okay, let me look at some messages. Okay, watching along with everyone. You are on every live. How are you doing? What is, okay, hold on. Let's see. Because I'm seeing everything's highlighted. 
lighting in here? I don't understand what's happening to the messages, y'all. Okay, you want to come fix it? Joyce, welcome back in. Oh, you have small spatulas too. Okay, go ahead and fix that. So now, look. Mix the two together. And you know what? If you're like me, taste it. The two of these right here is going to give you a new life because they are delicious. They are delicious together. Sweetened condensed milk is one of my favorite dessert ingredients. I mean, it's so good I could just, you know. And then when you think about caramel, same thing with caramel. But then you decide that you want to mix these two together and listen here. Knockout. A total knockout. Okay? So mixy mixy just like so. Our cake is cooking. 350 degrees. And then what we can do for now is um, if you're the person, oh, okay, Gina, can dark chocolate cake mix be used? Absolutely. I don't see why it couldn't. You know, because we're making, you know, German chocolate cake mix, you know, tastes just like chocolate cake. And basically it is. So that's fine. If you, whatever kind of chocolate cake, go ahead and use it. But, but if you experiment with any chocolate cake mix, one day I still want you to go ahead and try it with the German chocolate cake, okay? All right, so look, I, I know you want to taste it. I, I know you want to taste it. We're going to taste it. We're going to taste it. It tastes good, too. All right. Lick the back of that spoon. I'm about to. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. It, it tastes good. It's good. My goodness, mix the two together. You got to taste it. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, what's your name? Elmina. You're welcome. Ruthie, thank you for coming in. Tammy, you are so welcome, says Sonia. Okay, so now what we're going to do next is I want to talk about our topping. Our topping for the cake is our icing, of course, and we're making our icing out of the whipped cream. Typically, I'll use eight ounces, which is just one container. And, um, but what we need to do is we take a little bit of that mixture there, the sweetened condensed milk and the caramel, we pour a little bit of that into our whipped cream and we alter the flavor of the Cool Whip. That way, it's not just straight Cool Whip for your topping. We change it up. Change it up by putting caramel and sweetened condensed milk in. So let's do that right now and get that out the way. And after we do it, we can put our whipped cream back into the refrigerator because we don't need it right now. Okay? And then what I'm going to do while our cake cooks up, I'm going to come around and talk to you guys and we'll chit chat for a while until it's time to take the cake out of the oven and then I'll be telling you all what we're going to do after that because there's a couple more steps that we have to do to our cake, okay? Miss Tress Beats, welcome back in. You don't eat a lot of chocolate. You get a migraine. Oh, okay, if you have too much. Okay, okay. Oh, Karen, I hope, I pray in Jesus Christ's name that you begin to feel better or things in your life begin to get better. In the name of Jesus, Lord, hear our prayer on today for Karen. Sorry to hear that. Logan, welcome back in. You was playing the robots. Okay. Oh, with your cousin. Okay. We're going to be, <laughs> you can't call me, said we're going to be wobbling after we eat this cake. You, you might. Guess why? Because you might eat more than two pieces in one setting. You, you, you just might. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to grab the whipped cream. And like I said, please keep in mind, can you go ahead and wash this for me? Because I think I want to use this bowl versus this bowl. This bowl is a little too deep. Go ahead and wash this for me. And then dry it before you hand it to me. So, normally I like to use one eight ounce container. But then sometimes 
I'll add a little more extra because I like having this coffee and use it to dip fruit into, okay? So you may just see me use a little bit more and that's the reason. But when you make this, you only need one. I'm only using a little bit more because I like a little bit left over for fruit dipping, okay? All right, so as soon as he washes my bowl, I'm gonna show you how much of this beautiful concoction that we're gonna fold into our whipped cream. And now, when I say fold, the folding technique is like this. We're gonna be folding the whipped cream. When you have whipped cream, if you stir it like this, guess what'll happen? It'll go flat on you. We don't want that, because when we think of whipped cream, it's light, airy, and fluffy, and it's like a pillow, right? Stir it, and you make it go flat, and it will not be like a fluffy pillow anymore. Okay, so you fold it. But if you can't understand what I'm saying as I'm doing this motion, I'll be able to show you live as soon as I get my bowl. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> yes, it is great on fruit. Thank you. Okay, whipped topping, eight ounces. And you see, I just got the off brand. They're all delicious. And, and, and just, just um, to tell you all, you can keep these containers. Use it. Use these containers for something later. So I'm putting my eight ounces in, just like so. Now listen, is there anybody out there that wonders how to make your own whipped cream? If you're that person, no worries, guess what? Dita Young has the recipe. I showed you all just recently, I showed you all how to make homemade banana pudding, Gina Young staff. And in that video, I showed you all how to make homemade whipped topping using fresh cream. We whipped it up and we put some sugar and vanilla in it and it was gorgeous. Okay, so if you wanna know how to make it, please check out my recent video for how to make homemade banana pudding. I'm just using this much extra, okay? Maybe a little bit more. <laughs> all right, so now, Here's what we're gonna do. This is how much, okay? That's it. That's it, Gina? Absolutely. It changes the whole flavor of the whipped cream. It does, it's so interesting, you hear me? So here's the thing, just trust me when I tell you, how it changes the whole flavor, it really does. Remember I said we need to fold this in and not stir it? That's what we're gonna do. I tell you what's funny, this is nuts. So I asked my son to wash the bowl, he washed the bowl, but he handed me the bowl while it's stinking hot. So guess what I gotta do? Right now before it melts my whipped cream, <laughs> I gotta put this in the refrigerator, y'all. I do not want this hot bowl. <laughs> It, this hot bowl, I don't want it to melt my whipped cream. So now mix it in, just like so, using a folding motion. Never stir. Okay, let's get this into the refrigerator. Get it right on in there. And of course, I, I want to taste this. You want to taste? <laughs> no, I'm talking to the camera people. Or... The people, in, the people in the camera. What am I trying to say, y'all? The people in the TV? Viewers. The people in the camera? <laughs> or the viewers? I, I think that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> the TV people. That reminds me of Poltergeist when the girl said... I know. That reminds me of Poltergeist when the little girl said... The parents said, who are you talking to, honey? And she said... The TV people. Yeah, that was the scariest thing ever. Caroline on the Poltergeist was the scariest little girl ever. And all she did was sit in front of the TV and just look at the TV. She was scary. <laughs> My holy king says, Miss Karen said, that scared me. <laughs> Yes, Gina, scary movie, says Miss Sassy. <laughs> Welcome to Miss Gina Young's Nation. Thank you, 
Ron. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so now when it comes to this, don't put it in your refrigerator. It can just sit out on the counter, okay? So I'm just going to move this aside. I'm going to clean up my area while our cake cooks. I'm coming around in front of the camera. We're going to chit chat. We're going to chat it up. Okay? And then I have a timer set so it can give me an idea when my cake's getting ready to be done. We'll come check on it. And then I'll tell you the perfect time that we are going to take that filling that we made using the caramel, the sweetened condensed milk, it's gonna go inside of the cake and I'm gonna show you how it's done when that cake comes out, okay? So clean up your area if you can. You'll be stress-free when you clean up. Yeah, you will. Okay, so I'm looking at the whipped cream in the refrigerator. It's doing just fine. Nobody freak out. <laughs> it, it's funny because when he handed me that hot bowl, I thought, oh, no. <laughs> and it did. It began to deflate my icing a little bit, but it's okay. Because we got it in the refrigerator soon enough. All right, I'm coming around, y'all. Let's talk. Let's talk about all of the hot topics you have. too funny Gina what when I was talking about the little girl <laughs> it, it just reminded me when I said the TV people <laughs> I, I, I just couldn't think of subscribers the viewers <laughs> sometimes when you're live or when you're on video you just can't figure out the right words to say and it happens to me a lot and I just have to like you know laugh at myself <laughs> Hello, Nellie. Welcome back in. Yes, Charlene. Absolutely. Walter, hello. Renee, welcome back in. All right, let me take this camera, I mean, this microphone off. Hello, Mikhail. How are you? Welcome back in. If you're new, let me know that you're new. I'd love to welcome you in such a way. And if I miss your name, the people in the background would love to welcome you. Gina, when you did that dance, the cake. <laughs> okay, hold on. This is so funny. Gina, when you did that dance, your cake going to have us doing the wobble. <laughs> it is. It is. It's so good. It's so good. It will. It's going to have you doing some type of dance. <laughs> okay, so this person says, uh, Dog Man, how you doing? Hi again, Gina. You should have made that cake from scratch on this Saturday Night Live. Here, here's the thing. Dog Man, if you want to make yours by scratch, I already mentioned, if you want to make yours by scratch, absolutely you can. Absolutely you can. You know, it might it may take a little bit more time. Matter of fact, it will take a little bit more time. You know, but I tell you what, this cake is going to stand up against homemade. Yes, yes, it will. This cake will stand up against homemade. Yes, it will. And I'll be done before you. <laughs> Yeah, I know you don't like red, Gina, <laughs> but I like to tell you red looks good on you. Well, thank you. That's all I can say, Sonia, is thank you. <laughs> Gina, do you like pistachio ice cream? I, I've never had pistachio ice cream. Never ha have I? I love pistachio. I've never had the ice cream, but it sounds good. Bye, gotta go. Thank you for coming in. And you are a cooking woman. Thank you for coming in. The farm animals need attention. Oh, how great. Okay, so you say, Debbie Parker says, my holy king, oh, pistachio ice cream is my favorite. Is that right? I don't know. 
if I've even heard of it, but I know I haven't tried it. It's good with sardines. Ah, don't you do it. Don't you do it. It's good with sardines and hot fudge. <laughs> Chocolate chip ice cream is the best. Ooh, yum. It does sound good. Uh, so, so the ice creams that I like, the ice creams that I like is mint chocolate chip, and I like uh, um, cookies and cream. Not cookie dough. It's funny because sometimes I'll tell my husband, I say, baby, I want some uh, cookies and cream ice cream. He'll come back with cookie dough. <laughs> and he'll always look at me when he gives it to me like this. And I say, what? And he's wondering if he got the, the right kind. <laughs> Sometimes he'll get the right kind, but there's a lot of times that he'll get cookie dough. And I tell him, baby, thank you. I love this. And then later I'll say, you know, you got the wrong kind. <laughs> he'll laugh. He said, I can't. I, he said, he said, I can't figure it. I know it's cookie something. <laughs> you like pistachio. I'm going to look. Let me look on my Instacart. She's not allowed to. Let's see. Walter, she's not allowed to. Let's see what Walter says. Oh, coffee ice cream. I've had it. Walter. Oh, yeah, Walter. I can't. Okay, so let me see. Because I think this is going to be interesting. If I look on Instacart, okay, let's just see. If I see pistachio ice cream, okay. So I have to, what store, y'all? Let's see, I, I'm gonna look, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you if the store carries it and how much it is. You like butter pecan and cherry, but cherry vanilla sounds good. So my dad, let me tell you how my dad likes ice cream. At least he used to when I was younger. My dad liked cherry cordial. He liked uh, butter pecan as well. He would take the pretzel rod sticks that are, you know, they're about this long. They're pretzel sticks and they have salt on them. He ate his ice cream with the salted pretzel sticks, eating that cherry cordial ice cream, and he would go to town. And if you ever taste that, you will love it, I promise. Like, I promise. So I'm looking for a pistachio, pistachio ice cream. They said national ice cream. Pistachio ice cream. Nearly, welcome back in. Oh, Lord. Pistachio ice cream. Nah. Okay. Okay, there it is. Let me ask you this. Okay, Debbie, I bet it's good. I'm going to order some online. I have an order you need to get started on. Never had pistachio. Yeah. Okay, you like Publix ice cream? Strawberry ice cream is delicious. Yum, Miss Karen. Tommy Painter, how are you? Okay, so, I, okay, let me see. I found the ice cream. I found the ice cream. They have two of them. They have Talenti. It's like the name brand. Oh, that's gluten-free. Okay. Let's see. haagen -Dazs has it. Pistachio ice cream haagen -Dazs. Oh, are they all here? Are they all uh, gluten free? Okay, let's see. Hold on, cause I'm gonna get one. All right, haagen -Dazs it is. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Okay, so I put it on. I put it in the cart. That way, next time I go to shop, it'll already be in my cart. Jared, welcome back in. Buttered almond and praline ice cream does sound good. One big gal, welcome back in. Thank you for coming in and joining today. Rum raisin, so they got a rum raisin ice cream? Oh, she's rocking that hat and shirt. Thank you so much. I definitely appreciate that. You will love it, Gina. Will I? Okay. Strawberry streusel ice cream. So, let's see. Okay, so I have that in the cart. 
Oh, my holy king, guess what? So I turned around. I did the breakfast video. I tried to order uh, the Scrapple. I was gonna cook Scrapple. I put it on my order. The people that delivered the food didn't bring me no Scrapple. So I couldn't do it. Oh, do they have it in lactose free? Do they have it in lactose? Or you're saying for real, do they have it in lactose? For, uh, uh, let's see. I don't know about that. They 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 got uh what you call it? What what did I say? Gluten free. I'm gonna try it. It's in the cart. Oh, they have it here. They have it here. It's in Kroger. Ben and Jerry's. Yum. The best ice cream that you have is Edie's Chocolate Mint. Oh, okay. Oh, lactose free. Let me see. I'm going to say it. Lactose free pistachio ice cream. Let's see. Okay. They have a Byers. Byers has lactose free vanilla. Okay, hold on. Oh, Byers has a lactose free chocolate. Okay. It also has Moana has macadamia milk mango lactose free, which that sounds good, right? So, uh, Moana, Moana, I don't, y'all don't even know if I'm saying this right. Moana has a macadamia lactose free <laughs> mango it's hard to even say it y'all y'all gonna have to get on here yourself i can't even say the words they do have lactose free ice creams but i don't see it in pistachio they got a strawberry listen okay sonia they have a lactate strawberry cheesecake ice cream that's lactose free Yum, yum, and yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I don't know why I just did that. <laughs> yum, yum, and yum, 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 yum. There, there's all kinds of stuff, y'all. So gluten-free. There's vegan ice cream. Lactose-free ice cream. Uh, lactate vanilla ice cream. So many different things to choose from. <laughs> It is interesting sometimes when you go to different stores and you look at all the stuff that they have. Like you can go down your local market and, and go down like two full aisles on this side and that side, two different aisles, and they have nothing but different cereals. And it's like, man, I don't remember all those cereals being available when we was younger. I mean, they got any kind of cereal you can think of. <laughs> you said yum. <laughs> they do sell party cake ice creams. Yes. Sonia's laughing. <laughs> oh, I just hate that when two necklaces get tied together. Zadi, welcome in. Rhonda Prelo. What did Rhonda Prelo? Okay. What, okay, let me see. What do you call a person with no body and no nose? Uh-uh, Walter, guess what? No, seriously, Walter. Our son is in the back room and he just said, nobody knows. He, he just yelled it out. He knew the answer. He knew the answer before I could read it, but that's, that's a funny joke. Oh, banana pudding ice cream. I ain't never heard of that. Hey, no. 
Ah, uh, cake coffee, I ain't never heard of that. Skunk juice ice cream. I know that's a lie. I know you lying. You lying to me, skunk juice ice cream. It's real good. Y'all get out of here. You pulling my leg. Valencia is cracking up right now. <laughs> skunk they, honey, they they said skunk juice ice cream. Skunk? Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no way they laughing now. <laughs> skunk juice. Oh. And I'll be reading it out loud like it's a real message. I'm gonna okay. stop reading everybody's message. <laughs> skunk juice. Oh. <laughs> she said, where did you get that from? I never heard of that before. <laughs> Gina, what did you plan for the 4th of July? Well, we're gonna cook, we're gonna make some dessert, and, we, and we're gonna go find some fireworks. So we got some nice lawn chairs we had purchased last year that we weren't able to use last year because we missed the fireworks. So we're gonna go. And um, I'm gonna show you all a couple of ideas for uh, the 4th of July recipes and desserts that you can have ready. And uh, he, he went in the bedroom. He can get in the shower. I'm, I'm going to have some recipes I'm going to share with you all so you can see what you can make for the 4th of July. Because I, I like to take food with me when we, when we celebrate the 4th. Okay, Gina said, I'm going to stop. I did. <laughs> I said, I'm going to stop reading all y'all message. <laughs> Skunk juice, ice cream. <laughs> can you say hi, Kyrie? Kyrie, hello, how are you? Welcome in. I appreciate you coming in and joining us. Noel, thank you for the super chat. I greatly appreciate that. Gina, remember frozen fruit bars? I do, and they still have them. A frozen fruit bar is delicious, like, like a frozen fruit popsicle. They are delicious and they're made out of straight fruit. Y'all, why is my cake cooking so long? Let me check. Oh, it looks like I might have like three, four minutes left. And then we're going to check on our cake. I'm going to be, since I ain't got toothpicks today, I'm just going to take a fork. I'm going down into that cake. If it comes out nice and clean, the cake is done. So now, it's very important that when you take the cake out, you have something that you can poke holes into your cake with, okay? I'll show you what I like to use. You can use a fork. You can use like a wooden dowel or something. Just use what you can so you can poke holes all in that cake and you'll have a holy cake, right? <laughs> I know, that sounds funny. You're gonna have holes all over your cake. It's gonna look like you messed it up, but you didn't. And then we're gonna take all of the sweetened condensed milk and the caramel. It goes down into the holes of the cake. Oh, I'm gonna tell you what Scrapple is. Give me one second. You pour that sweetened condensed milk and caramel down into the holes of the cake. As soon as we're done, and make sure you get it evenly distributed all throughout the cake. That cake goes straight from your counter to the refrigerator. So that caramel and sweetened condensed milk can kind of harden up in the middle of the cake, okay? All right, so now she wants to know what is scrapple. Scrapple is, it, it tastes like breakfast sausage. It does have cornmeal in it. It's one of the best things since sliced bread. Now, my dad grew up in Philly. He grew up eating Scrapple for breakfast every morning, right? And um, it's not something that I grew up eating unless we had it on special occasions and he would bring it home from Philly or something and we would have some and everybody would be all excited or we would go to Philly and have it for breakfast. So it comes like, uh, like this. Okay, thank you for the super chat. Thank you, Noel. I appreciate that. It comes like this, you slice it. Okay, you know how you slice the cookies that's already made? You slice it, right? Turn around, put a little tiny bit of oil in the bottom of your pan. You're not deep frying it. Just enough to coat the pan. You fry it. Now, my dad used to take and put, dust a little bit of flour on it, shake it off, and fry it. It gets a crispiness on the outside. On both sides and the inside is so soft and supple and tasty and delicious. And like I said, kind of reminds you of uh, sausage, 
I think it has a better flavor than sausage. It's so flavorful. But it's a bunch of meats put together with cornmeal. It's good. You can find it at Kroger's is what I do know. I don't know where else you can find it. Gina, is Scrapple in the family with so uh, I, I would not say so. It doesn't look anything like that. It looks like ground up, ground breakfast meat that you slice, okay? Gina has the best recipes. Well, thank you, Miss Sway. I appreciate it. Okay, so Maggie says, y'all need to try this cake. It's delicious. My oldest sister wanted to cook it. Every family gathering. Oh my goodness. So Christopher, I'm going to read your message. Then we got to check on our cake, okay? Christopher says, Gina, what about rat tail flake? Uh-uh. I read nobody's messages. We done. Uh-uh. Let's check the cake, though. I'll be right back. If the cake is done, I'm going to flip the camera, and we'll poke the holes in it and get our mixture into the cake. Just like so. Make sure you don't get nuts with this and turn around and poke holes to the bottom of your pan. That would be one of the worst things, right? We don't want that. So do what you can to get holes into your cake. Sometimes I'll use this. So if you have something like this, I just go right in, give it a nice twist and turn. Just like so. Sometimes I can be honest and say that I do feel like just a regular fork the piece, the holes are too small. That's why I prefer to use something bigger, like this. Okay? So let's continue to do that. I haven't seen any messages from Purple Love. Is Purple Love in here? All right, here we go, y'all. Come on in with the camera, please, so you can see my action. The cake is hot. Do it while it's hot. The, the heat of the cake does something really special to the sauce. And then, like I said, once we pour the sauce on, you make sure you're getting all in the corners in every area of the cake with this beautiful sauce. And we use all of the sauce, okay? That little bit of sauce that we put into 
our cool whip. That's all we need it for that. Every piece of this goes in here, okay? Remember, when it goes in, twist and turn it to open those holes up, okay? This is one cake you and your family is going to love. Now, here's, here's what's funny. I've made this using different cake mixes. But what always stands out amongst all of them is the German chocolate cake mix. It's the best. It's the best one. You can do it with yellow cake mix if you want. But don't call it Genie Young's. <laughs> do the um, German chocolate cake mix and you'll be satisfied. All right, so I'm almost done. My hand is cramping. Gina, I want you to make me a strawberry shortcake for your birthday. 8-12, thank you in advance. I will. Okay, a strawberry shortcake for your birthday? Okay, and thank you in advance. You're welcome. <laughs> absolutely, strawberry shortcake. That absolutely sounds good. Oh, my hand is Anthony, what happens? I get on this live and all type of stuff start happening to me. My eyes begin to water. <laughs> Hands start cramping. I think it's all those crazy recipes y'all talk about. Pig juice, ice cream. Ah, that's what it is. Okay, so come in and take a look at the cake and the total mess that we've made of our cake. But this is intentional and you have to do it in order for this recipe to be outstanding okay you can purchase these um just you know when you're looking for your recipe just say that you're looking for skewers kebab skewers or you know maybe you have some chopsticks that you can use the back of okay so watch me work come on in, bring the camera in Let's do it fast. Don't you let an area go uncovered with this gorgeous sauce. If you have to, spread it around. <laughs> Woo, girl, you something else. Gina, I never seen nothing like that. I know you haven't, but I tell you what, when you make it, mm, 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 get ready. Get ready for somebody's taste buds to be turned out because this recipe Oh, wait, guess what happens now? Hold on, hold on. I want to take some of this. Come, come in with the camera. I want to take some of this that has pulled in on the sides. I want to bring it out the sides and I'm pushing it into those holes. Can you see what I'm doing, y'all? Push what has pulled into the sides. Get it into those holes. And now this goes into the refrigerator. Make sure you have room in your refrigerator so this can lay nice and flat and that caramel is gonna halt right in the middle of those holes. You hear me? <laughs> uh, mm, mm. Oh, heck no. Ooh, it's good. Okay, let's get this into the oven. Not into the oven. <laughs> into the refrigerator. Into the refrigerator, not the oven, y'all. I know. Get that flour off the floor. 
Yes, Heath bars are delicious. And if you can't find the Heath or the toffee pieces, get a Heath bar. You know how you can find a big candy bars like this. I know, I know you know. You can find those. Take a, um, a rolling pin to it, put it in a Ziploc bag, bang that baby out, okay? Until you get little tiny pieces. Lick those beaters, yes. <laughs> you have to. It, it's so funny, when I first started doing um, YouTube, people would tell me, when I would make a cake or something, people would say, oh no, don't lick the batter, right? It's like, it's, it's, it's raw egg. And I'm like, what? I mean, people would go nuts. And I thought, are you kidding me? So every time I make a cake, I make sure that I lick the batter and the bowl on purpose, <laughs> just for those people that hate me tasting the cake batter. Ah, Gina slapped the counter because that better than anything cake. It's screaming. My, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, listen, wait, let's just wait until we taste test it. You're gonna say my, 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 my. Okay, listen, here's what I want you to get me. Can you get me a, I want the wok. You listen up? All my spices that I like to use. Okay, I want a knife with this and a cutting board so I can cut my cabbage. Can you do that for me? Thank you, wash your hands. I love to eat the heath pieces right out the bag. <laughs> I know. There is nothing wrong with licking the bowl. But I, I do understand that back in the days, I, you, you guys can quote me if I'm totally wrong. I could, I could be totally wrong. Were the eggs just like not safe back in the days? And people used to have to worry. Like, oh no, don't taste it because it's got raw eggs in it. You're riding with Sonya, says Sue. Where are y'all going? Let me see what Sonya says. Oh, you're not feeling good today. This chicken noodle soup better make this cold go away. Oh, Raymond, I hope you feel better. Welcome in, Raymond. Uh, let's see, let's see. I'm looking for Sonya's message. My Holy King says, my teeth can't handle that. Um, now bought a whole box, had to give them away. You got that. Okay, I think I, oh, I, I, I got right to Sonya's message and I lost it. What the heck? Okay, on my way in three vehicles, <laughs> I have... A load of people to pick up, Miss Karen, <laughs> Mildred, Debbie, Christopher, and Eula. Be ready. Hey, hey now here, here's the thing. Where y'all going? <laughs> where where y'all going to go? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Where, where are you going in your three vehicles? <laughs> You're packing your bag. <laughs> Oh, T. Smith says, I think it's a myth. Yes, I hope you feel better, Raymond. Oh, Miss Karen said, Gina, we coming to get some cake. <laughs> I, I figured that's where y'all was going. I, I still had to ask. <laughs> okay, so back in the day, our parents just did stuff and weren't worried about every little thing, <laughs> says Lynn. Gina and everyone, I know that's right, Gina. <laughs> Eat that batter. <laughs> oh, you're going to follow my voice until you can get to the cake. Okay, Jackie. I'm doing okay, Alan. How are you? Thank you for coming in and joining. Gina, when can we see your father? Oh, my goodness. Um, hopefully, it would be nice if we can do that this year. And keep in mind that my dad is out of town now, y'all. I left my hometown. I moved from my hometown. 
So I, I'll have to do that. But the thing is, we have to see if he, he would want to be on camera. You know? It would be nice, though. Did not mess with our foods. Oh, 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 like they did. Okay. Oh, that's good, Alan. You said, do I have an older brother? Hey, Gina, you have an older brother? I have, I have older brothers. <laughs> oh, did you give me my stuff that I wanted? You didn't give me none of my stuff that I asked for. What? Let me have it here so I can do it here. Oh, you want Miss B wants the corner piece of the cake. <laughs> Look at the car. Sonia is coming in the car. It's vroom, vroom. <laughs> vroom, vroom. <laughs> Y'all are too funny. Y'all are too funny. All right. You can put the spices over there. <laughs> That's funny. I, it, I tell you what. I tell you what's really funny. When Mildred turns around and says that she's getting in her Flintstone car, and she getting ready to start pedaling with her feet. It just makes me laugh every time. I do, I do, I laugh so hard because I can picture it. <laughs> Christopher says, I'm picking up Ron Wilson. Ron, <laughs> you and Ron on your way. Gina, what's the one, what's one of your favorite, okay, what's one of your father's favorite songs you used to hear him sing all the time? Aha! Okay, okay, okay. My dad used to sing this to me. Ah, uh, uh, it's it's on the tip of my tongue. Um, hold hold on, hold on, hold, hold on. Everybody, stop the message, cause I would love to answer this, and I I I just can't answer it while people is messaging, and I'm trying to read the message. Uh, what the heck song is it? Uh, oh, okay. Uh, here, here. I'm, I'm all excited. Let me type it in and make sure that's what it's called. I think it's a, a song for you. Let me turn my phone down because I don't want it to start playing. A song for you. Donnie Hathaway. Donnie Hathaway, a song for you. Now listen, you got to hear why. I don't know. I don't know if I can say this was his favorite song, but he sang it to me. My dad sang this song to me a lot when I was younger. Donna, uh, Donnie Hathaway, a song for you. Okay? And um, it, it, it says, um, it, it talks about uh, when we were together and I was singing this song to you, right? Uh, what's the rest of the words? Um, uh, let, let me listen to the words real quick. Hold on. I got to listen to the words. And then I can tell you all the words. I can't play it up loud. Let me see. Hold on. Okay, so the beginning starts off saying, I know your image of me is what I hope to be. Right? Boom! Listen, when the man opened his mouth to sing this song, I mean, he don't just sing the song. He sings that song. My dad sang this to me. And, 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 and basically, he just keeps saying throughout the song, we were together. Remember, we were together, and I was singing this song to you. I love that song. I love it. I love it. I'm going to put it on my playlist. I'm going to put it on my playlist. I can't use this knife, Dakota. Do y'all know what song I'm talking about? Uh... 
Okay, Nicole says, that's a great song. Yes. So my dad always sang that. But then growing up, and like when I was a teenager, my dad in his bedroom, he always had um, Luther Vandross. My dad played Luther Vandross like this around the clock. Luther Vandross around the clock. Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. Okay, I see everybody saying, I love that song. <laughs> so my dad was singing that to me, and I always thought if something were to ever happen to my dad, you know, like we all have to pass away, you know. But I'm just saying, I would definitely play that song, have that song be played for that special reason because he sang that song to me. Because, like I said, in the song they say, remember when we were together and I was singing this song to you. I'm like, doggone. The words to the song just makes me wail up in my eyes. It does. It's great. And my, yo, my dad had a singing voice. My dad had a singing voice and he had lots of rhythm. My dad could dance. Ah, ah, my husband said he can't dance. <laughs> yes, he can. My husband knows he can dance. He's just joking. <laughs> but yes, 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 yes. My dad could dance and he could sing. Luther's voice was fantastic, right? <laughs> Honey, they laughing at you. <laughs> So let me tell y'all this, this is funny. So my dad, when we was younger, my dad had a passion for um, uh, skating. He used to love to skate. And the skating rink where we lived used to be called, uh, what was the skating rink called, honey? USA? USA East. My dad had a passion for skating, and my dad was one of those gentlemen, used to have like the towel in the, in the back of his pocket, and he was dancing, I mean, he would be dancing, he would be going through the, uh, the skating ring like wham, wham, boom, he's hitting every corner, he's dancing, and he's skating, and he's dancing, he's skating backwards, and he's just jamming out. And meanwhile, my brother, one of my brothers, name is Curtis, Curtis was able to pick up my dad's style of dancing. And them two alone, people would stand like outside of the skating rink, not outside, outside, but up against the wall just to watch them two skate in a line. And my brother would be trailing behind my dad. And then people would be trailing behind them skating. And they, was just, they, they shut the whole thing down with that rhythm. You hear me on the skates. But my dad had a passion for skating. He loved it, and he took a skating all the time. He took a skating all the time, and it was so much fun. And I was able to see my dad um, skate like they skated in Philly, which was completely different from how we skated in Ohio. It, I mean, it was completely different type skating. Um, but what, what was I going to say? I was, I, I was saying that for a reason. Oh, so one time I sent my sister a video of this couple dancing that I thought this couple was absolutely amazing. They were slow dancing, right? And I thought, man, that couple can dance, right? I was all excited. And uh, my sister texted me back and she said, I don't know why you all excited about that. She said, your daddy danced just like that. And I thought about it like he does. He danced just like that. <laughs> I shouldn't even be impressed about this couple that I'm watching here on YouTube. But uh, my sister made me think about that. And I realized my dad can dance even better than these people that I'm all impressed with. <laughs> Let me take the microphone off. It looks like somebody might have said that they can't hear. You should be able to hear me now because I took the microphone off. Now the background noise will come back in, but you should be able to hear me nice and clear. 
Skating was the best time, my goodness, it was. Like I said, my dad had the people trailing behind him. He was leading charge, everybody was watching him, and I, I used to be like, that's my dad tearing that floor up. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Ron, for welcoming Mary. Mary, welcome in. <laughs> Glenda said, go, Daddy. <laughs> uh, I wonder, I, I would love to ask him, I'm going to ask him, when is the last time he went skating? He, he, so my dad used to like the skating, but he also used to like to go hunting. He used to like to go hunting for deers, and that was his thing. That was his thing. He used to like to go hunting for deers, and every winter he would do it. Okay, thank you. Your name is Renikia. Renikia, thank you so much. The thing is, you said it look. It, you seem like I have a nice spirit. I, the thing is, I have a reason to smile because God is absolutely amazing. You know, God is good. God is absolutely amazing. I like to come on here and share the gift that God has given me with the world. And I just like to fellowship with you all when I come on here. I feel like we have such a great time. Such a great time we do. So welcome in. Thank you for coming in. Come in anytime. We're live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. Steve, welcome in. Thank you for coming in and joining us today. Marco, how do I say your name? Marco, Marco Polo. Okay, okay, welcome in. Vivian, welcome in. Gina, I would come to, I would come home with blisters. Oh, me too, isn't that something? Okay, so, so Mildred says, Gina, I would come home with blisters on my feet. I can never skate backwards. <laughs> no matter how hard I would try, I would fall. <laughs> so um, I, I, I think, I think my brother taught me how to skate backwards. And then once I got it, I got it. Um, but my sister actually taught me how to skate in the driveway. We had a very long driveway. And I had the type of skates that was the plastic metal skates. And you put those, you put those skates on top of your shoes. So you put your shoes in the skates and she would like hold me, I would hold her hand and she'd be walking backwards and then she'd let go of me. And I learned how to skate in the driveway. But then my dad continued to teach me, you know, like how to skate when we would go to the skating rink. And once that was it, that was it. I had it packed down. But like I said, when I became a teenager, uh, a preteens, I was in a skating rink dancing. I was on the skate on the stage dancing instead of skate. Don't nobody want to hear what you say. <laughs> don't nobody want to hear about what you say. <laughs> My husband, y'all hear him, y'all. He said, don't nobody want to hear about you dancing. <laughs> don't nobody hear about you dancing when you was younger. <laughs> never skated on rollerblades. Never. I have never skated on rollerblades. <laughs> I, I I wonder if rollerblades is hard to skate on, seriously. Did I get your question? No, Alan, can you ask me again and maybe I can answer it? Y'all, so guess what I'm doing right now? I'm chopping up some cabbage because I want some cabbage. I want something healthy to eat today. And I'm gonna have cabbage. I'm not even gonna put potatoes. I'm not gonna do rice with it. I just want some healthy cabbage. And so that's what I'm gonna have because that's what I want. Now my family might want something a little later, something else. And I'll make it for them if that's what they want me to do. But I want some healthy cabbage. You ne okay, so Dee said, I never rollerblade before. I, I've never even stood up on a rollerblade. But Mildred, I'm like you because, uh, let's see. We want cabbage too, Gina, with the cake. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like Mildred because when I would come home as a teenager, I would I would have like those water blisters. Why did skates give you water blisters on the bottom of your feet? It would be like this big, and then you pop it and water would come off. Like that's totally disgusting. But 
when you skated that much, that's what happened. And so my dad will say, it's because you didn't put two pairs of socks on. So <laughs> they tell you when you go skating, put socks, to put two pairs of socks on. Also, Miss Sassy said, yeah, that hurt it. <laughs> I tell you what, I had fun. And then when they would play your favorite latest song that you love, you really get excited. <laughs> Cabbage does sound good, right? K okay, Coffee says that's true. What's the weather like? The weather is, the, the weather is like 80s, but... It's like the sun is not out. And it's a little cloudy, but it ain't raining. So, so that's what our weather is like right now. So here in a few minutes, I'm going to jump up. I want to put some water or some broth into my cabbage. I'm going to get my cabbage going. But I want to check in on my cake, and I'm going to fill my cake. When you touch your cake, you fill the sides of your cake. Is it hot? Fill the bottom of the cake. Is it hot? If the cake pan is still hot, that means your cake is still hot. You cannot ice it with that Cool Whip icing. It'll melt, okay? So let me put my cabbage over here on the stove, and then I'm going to fill the sides of the pan, the bottom of the pan. If it's any warm, we're not going to be able to ice the cake until it cools down. But it ain't going to take long because we got that baby in the refrigerator, okay? So let me do that. I'll be right back. I ain't going too far. Y'all stay right there. Think of the next good conversation. Y'all know I love I love talking about my dad. I, I get all excited. Because I tell y'all what, I feel like I had the best dad in the world. <laughs> all right, I'll be right back. One second. So my, um, my cake, when I felt it, the top of the cake was just a little warm, a little too warm for me to put my icing on, right? So we'll give it maybe 10 to 15 minutes, and I know for sure the cake will be ready to ice then, okay? Oh, it will, it will, it will. And when I felt the sides, I thought, you know, it was kind of hard to tell. So I felt the bottom of the cake, it was still a little warm. So I said, okay, we got to give it 15 minutes. Okay. So I'm chopping up some meat right now to put into my cabbage. What are you working on? The edit? Okay. Carmen, welcome in. Hello, hello. Welcome in if I have not spoken to you. Happy, happy Saturday. We're making cake here at the Young's house. And what we're doing right now, y'all, is we are letting our cake cool down so we can put a, a whipped cream icing on top. It's very important that you let the cake cool down because you can't put a whipped topping, you know, um, on top of your cake while your cake is warm at all. So we need to make sure that the cake is nice and cool by putting it in the refrigerator before the icing goes on top. Thank you all for welcoming Carmen. Carmen, we appreciate having you in here. Welcome, welcome. Eula, how you doing today? 
Miss B, hello, D. How you doing, D? Chanel Washington, hello, how are you? Welcome in. We appreciate having you in here today. Happy Saturday to everyone. OMG, talk about memories. Okay, so Jackie says, my dad taught us girls how to skate as well. We had so much fun. Oh, is that right, Jackie? How nice. Gina, you must bake a coconut cake for my birthday. Okay, let me see. I lost your message. My goodness. Oh, you must make a coconut cake for your birthday next month, July 20th. You'll be turning 55. Oh, wow. Okay, we will do. we will do. So I got a strawberry shortcake to make. <laughs> and then I have a coconut cake to make. Okay. At both of them's pretty easy. Okay. <laughs> All right, I got my meat cut up. I'm going to put some bacon in too my cabbage but i'm not frying it i'm only putting a couple pieces in because it's going to release a nice flavor into my cabbage but i'm not i'm not frying it i'm just going to put it in there and let it release this beautiful flavor into my cabbage it's going to be good i've seasoned up my cabbage with salt pepper garlic and onion powder salt pepper garlic and onion powder a little bit of red pepper flakes and I use water for the broth. I'm just gonna let it steam and cook down until it's delicious. I put a nice amount of water in there because I want that um, pot liquor. What are you making? Kathy, I'm making a cake. And this cake is the better than anything cake that is absolutely amazing. If you never had it before, you definitely need to try this recipe. You will love it. You will, you will. Dee Dee, thank you. I appreciate the super chat. Oh, I appreciate it, thank you. Oh, okay, so you said this would be good with a spice cake. You're absolutely right. It would be good with a spice cake. So um, you'll just, you know, do everything that I did for you know, in this video, this live, and just use your spice cake, and you, it's amazing. It's amazing. A lot of people think that it's hard to make, but you're gonna see, you're gonna see live just how easy it is to make this recipe. Oh, okay, so you say, your name is, what's your name? Ch Chocolate drop. You said, I've made your recipe for the past two Thanksgivings. Okay. Zari, welcome in. Valencia Pickett, happy early birthday. Okay. <laughs> Zadi says, I can't skate or ride a bike to save my life, but I'll keep trying though. <laughs> yeah, keep trying. Don't you give up. Don't you give up because eventually you'll learn how to do it as long as you don't give up. <laughs> Oh, okay, so T. Smith says, your birthday is the same as your, oh, as your, oh, as your grandma, okay. Oh, you're watching a big breakfast video after this. You have to. This breakfast was put together so quickly and it was so delicious. And here's the thing, we took some shortcuts. The shortcuts in the breakfast today was we used boxed pancake mix, which boxed pancake mix ain't never let nobody down, right? It's always delicious. So that's one of the shortcuts. The second shortcut was we used the potatoes that is already cut. Just comes in a bag to start frying them babies, right? And the bacon, I think that putting bacon Onto a cookie sheet in the oven is a shortcut versus having to watch your bacon on top of the stove, right? And it was just like breakfast was done in a cinch and everybody was happy. So it was good. Check out the video. What do you make with the cabbage? Now, typically when I make cabbage, we would have, we would serve it over rice. That's how my dad served it. But I just wanted something healthy today. So I'm not serving it with rice. I'm not serving it with potatoes. I'm not serving it with cornbread. 
I just want some cabbage. <laughs> so I'm just doing cabbage. It's gonna be flavorful though. Yes, Thomas, it is, thank you. Are you asking for, let's see. What is K Coffee saying? <laughs> oh, okay. Cause Mildred said, Gina, I have to try jumping on a polo stick. Oh my goodness, I had a pogo stick. I had a pogo ball and I would jump high as I could. I, here's the thing, I'm not one of those people that's afraid of heights. I'm not afraid of heights. Huh? <laughs> My husband is in the shower. Y'all, guess what he said? I am. <laughs> I didn't even know he could hear. <laughs> I, said, I said, I'm not afraid of heights. He yelled, I am. <laughs> yes, he is. Yo, I'm not, I'm not afraid of heights. I would get on that pogo stick and I would jump high as I could. It was like I was trying to be a kangaroo or something. And like I said, we had this huge driveway growing up. That whole driveway was mine. I would pogo all the way up and down that driveway and just have the time of my life. I, I also had a pogo ball. Do y'all remember that big red ball with the, with the thing on it and you could bounce? You could just like bounce for days. Ron said, I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> I did like a kangaroo I did. You don't do heights either? Somebody had asked me, I think it might have been my holy king, said, Gina, can you jump off the high dive? Absolutely. I, and I did. I did, and it was so much fun. I told y'all, I would jump off that high dive. I would go all the way. Oh, let me see. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Let me show you something. So let me show y'all the pogo ball. But this ball, Dakota just pulled this up. There's the ball. But the ball that I had had a handle to it and you could just jump for days. But I'm talking, Mildred's talking about a pogo stick. Pull up the pogo stick so they can see it. It's a pogo stick. I tell you what, Mildred, if I had one right now, I would do it. I would do it. Oh, but I was telling my holy king, I said, I would jump off of the high dive, go down all the way. I, make, I would make my feet touch the 12 feet, and I would swim all the way to the baby pool until I could feel my stomach touch. And then once I got to the baby pool, I'd just climb out of the, uh, the thing. I know people was watching like, this little girl, something else. I loved everything about water. You had a scooter? Yes. Here, y'all, I had a big wheel. Did anybody have a big wheel? Let me see the pogo stick. See, these are new updated ones. I know that's not what Mildred's talking about, but let me see. I have Alan, I've made elephant ears. Let me see, Dakota. Yeah. So this is what Mildred's talking about. <laughs> Mildred wants to get on one of these. Here it is, there's the pogo stick. Now, there it is right there. Once you put your feet right there and right there, you start bouncing. And you bounce, the harder that you jump, the harder that you jump like this, you're going high. <laughs> you did, Sonia had a big wheel? Oh my goodness. You had a pogo stick, says Angela, okay. Oh, uh, Drew says, I love my big wheel. <laughs> Valencia said, I had a big wheel. <laughs> Lena, you didn't have any? Okay, okay. <laughs> yes, Gina. She, okay, so they said, Dakota, that's it, the pogo stick. <laughs> the sit and spin. Kizzy, maybe that's it. Because it was a big red ball and it had a handle. I could bounce on that thing for days on end. So now let's talk about something funny that I think is so cute. So... On days that I wasn't at the swimming pool, because there was days that I wasn't at the swimming pool, my dad had a huge um, cooler, you know, like the cooler you take to a picnic. He took the lid off, like unscrewed the lid off. <clears throat> he would fill that cooler up. I would sit in that cooler like I was at the swimming pool. 
ice cold water. But I had the time of my life. Ice cold water. And when, some, when I splashed all the water out, I mean, I must have been tiny, right? Ice cold water. <laughs> uh, when I splashed all the water out, he would fill it back up. And I'd be in that cooler just moving around like I'm swimming. I had the time of my life. Oh, your brother made a goat car? Oh, my goodness. That's nice. Hi, Faze. Hi, Faze's of Angie. Hello. Slip and slide. Wow. I don't believe we ever had that. I don't believe I ever. I don't think I ever had that. We had the hose, the garden hose. Huh? I can't hear you. Oh, the kids had to slip and slide. Yes, the kids had to slip and slide. Did you have the bouncy ball with the handles? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, it's Darium. That's what I had. Big wheels were everywhere until you got a crack in the wheels. Oh yeah, remember the wheels weren't the wheels weren't rubber. That is interesting. The the wheels to the big wheel was not rubber. It was hard, and then if you got a crack in it, you couldn't ride it anymore. How interesting. So that's weird. That's that's interesting that you were able to remember that. <laughs> Uh, you had the big red bouncy ball. Yep. My husband talks about when he was younger, he had the big red bouncy ball. He remembers playing with the big red bouncy ball when he was in elementary. He, he, he's got a lot of stories about that. They were plastic. So the wheels to the big wheel was plastic. Hard plastic. You built a goat car out of an old 1972 wheel horse lawn. Is that right, Tommy? How interesting. I know, Christopher. You said, Drew, we have so many fun topics. We, we do. We do. Childhood memories are the best. How long are you going to let the cake stay in the refrigerator? We're going to give it five more minutes. We can ready to ice that baby. So a few minutes ago, Sonia, I checked it, and it was still a little warm. And you just can't ice it unless the cake is fully cooled down because you'll mess up your icing. So we're going to give it just five minutes, and then we'll, we'll um, turn the camera down, around. We'll ice it, put the toffee pieces on, we're going to slice down into that baby so you can taste it. What else are we having with cabbage? I, I had no plans on making anything else. <laughs> I, I did. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I'm not even making this for dinner. I'm making this for me because <laughs> I wanted some healthy cabbage. Remember the little red bike with the training wheels? Absolutely, everybody had that, right? Oh, it was a tricycle. It was called a tricycle, and they all were red. Hold on, y'all, let me put my meat into my uh, cabbage.
got to get this. You see this stuff? that we put together in here it was setting on top now it's all in the inside of this cake that's what you want the cake should be nice and cooled down which is still a little warm it's still a little warm okay so let me get a soft spatula But now, and here's what I'm going to do. Since my cake is a little bit warm, it's a tiny bit warm. Once I put my icing, my toffee pieces on, I'm going to turn around and put this back into the refrigerator so my cake can continue to cool down before I cut it, okay? It, it's, it's, it, it's not a quick, easy process. And I'm putting it on even though my cake is a little teeny bit warm. But I'm putting it back into the refrigerator before we even cut it, okay? So come on in. We got this gorgeous icing. Put it all in there, unless you want to save some with, for fruit, okay? Which I do. Just like so. <laughs> oh, you ain't lied, Gina, when you said this was a gorgeous cake. You bet it is. Just like so. Okay, look at, look at, took it, look at this. Oh, Gina, you're fulfilling all my sweet tooth wants. Look at that. All right, and this right here, I'm going to save it for some fruit a little bit later, okay? Mm -hmm. while it's not cold all the way. 
So I'm going to put it back in here. We're going to check. When I come back, this will be nice and cold, and we'll cut it. Get ready, break it down. All right, perfect. Looking good. Okay, Nancy. Sounds good. Hello, Christy. Thank you for coming in and joining. So if you ask me right now, put that put that extra icing in the refrigerator and we can dip some fruit in it, okay? <coughs> So if you were to ask me right now, Gina, so how much longer do you think? Well, I'd like to say, let's just look at it in 10 minutes. In 10 minutes, we might just be able to slice down into that baby. And, and, and listen, 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 here's where it's really exciting. When we slice down into this, into this cake, when we slice down into this cake, you're gonna get to see that gorgeous sweetened condensed milk and the caramel going all throughout the inside of the cake. This has to be one of the most moist, flavorful cakes that you ever want to taste. It doesn't taste like a cake. It tastes better than a cake. It tastes like a dessert out of this world, okay? Tanya said 10 minutes, okay, that's it. I, I know, you can't wait, you can't wait till you try it, but we gonna try it, 10 minutes. Put the timer on. Put the timer on, 10 minutes. <laughs> when I make this cake, I'm gonna have to give half of it away or I'll eat the whole thing. Oh, Debbie. Yeah, I think you might, you might. Gina, now you're gonna have us doing the wobble and the tick dance along with the... <laughs> I don't know what I don't know what I just did, y'all. But just tasting the icing made me want to break it down. <laughs> what are you gonna be making for the Fourth of July? Moist is the main key for this cake. It is. And now listen, this cake. Um. Okay. So it's a cake that, of course, you would keep in your fridge refrigerator, right? because we have whipped topping. You're gonna keep it in your refrigerator, you know that. But let's just say it's the 4th of July or somebody's birthday or it's cookout time. The cake can set out for a couple of hours. I know, it's interesting, Gina, but it has whipped topping on the top. It's okay, I promise. I've, I've done it several times or I've taken it to a loved one's house and you set it on the counter and you wait because most of the time the cake is gonna be done with it. Everybody's gonna eat it within an hour, <laughs> right? So you put it in the refrigerator. If they keep it in the refrigerator, that's fine. But if they have it out on the counter, that's fine too. But you know, with the leftovers, you definitely wanna keep it in your refrigerator. So you all get the gist, okay? You get the gist. If you Google, okay. Oh, okay, okay, Kathy says, if you Google better than anything cake, Gina Young, you will find ingredients. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. My downfall is brownies. Oh, is it? So Little Bit wants to know what I'm making for the 4th of July. I, I feel like, yo, is, is Derek Eads in here? The reason why I thought about him is because he was asking me, uh, am I going to grill? And I was thinking about grilling. Maybe some barbecue chicken that we can take with us. Maybe my fruit pizza. The fruit pizza consists of uh, uh, sugar cookie dough cream cheese icing, strawberries and blueberries and pineapples for your fruit. It is a taste that you never tasted before. Ever think about that, y'all. So we have this huge sugar cookie that we bake in the shape of a pizza, in the shape of a pizza dough. 
And then we make a homemade cream cheese icing. And then you put the red, white, and blue fruit onto your pizza. You slice it just like it's pizza pizzas, and people go nuts over it. So I always like to make that for the 4th of July. And so you could use pineapples for the white, blueberries or blackberries for the blue, strawberries or raspberries. You could even make a flag on top of your pizza. But I tell you what, whatever kind of fruit you decide to put on it, you could put kiwi on there. It's delicious. You don't want to do something like put um, a fruit that's real wet, like um, you don't want to do canned peaches or anything like that because it would just mess up the icing and, and just totally mess up the recipe. Use fresh fruits and you'll, you'll love it. You don't want to do bananas either because the bananas are going to turn brown. <laughs> don't, don't try bananas on there. It does sound good. It is. Oh, you think Derek? Okay, okay, Mildred. Can this cake be made? Let me see. Can this cake be made in a bunt pan? Uh, uh, sure it can. I've never seen anybody do it that way. But when I think about how this cake is made, absolutely you can. Absolutely you can. Oh, okay, Mildred. Ah, okay, okay. So if you were to make this in a butt pan, you still, when it's done, you can still turn around, poke the holes in it, follow everything that I did, but then here, here's where you would mess up. Or I don't know if I want to, can it be frozen? Uh, no, no, you can't, you can't freeze this. I think that recipe would go wrong. Hold on y'all, I'm fixing my camera. I think the recipe would go wrong if you turned around and used the butt pan. Guess why? Because when you went to put that whipped topping on top of it, the whipped topping would just slide off the sides because it's a cake that's like this. The whipped topping would just slide off the sides. You need something that's gonna be flat so that icing can just... So, so there's where I think it would go wrong. I know, Thomas, it's called dessert pizza. It's good. I'm gonna try this recipe for my next family gathering, okay? Oh, you're welcome, Debbie. Absolutely, but I, like I always like to say, when it comes to cooking, trying different things and recipes it it's i love when you guys give me a great question that that's a great question and, and here's the thing if you don't ask you don't know but when we think about that type of icing it would just come come right off the sides it, it is it looks good enough to eat it does Linda Gardner, welcome. Nancy says, Gina, you make an eclair, eclair cake? I have. Have you seen it on my channel? I have. I turned around and I used the yellow. What did I do? I used the yellow cake. I had two cakes. I filled it with the vanilla pudding. <laughs> and then I put chocolate icing on top. And that mimics the eclair um, donut. So that's what I was trying to do. But when I made that cake, I, I felt like the cake on top was kind of kind of wobbling. It kept sliding because we had the pudding in the middle. So I would definitely do something different when I make that recipe. What I would do is I would put icing like a barrier of like cream cheese icing on top of my cake, right? Just a barrier. And then I would put the vanilla pudding inside of that barrier. 
and then put the other cake on top and I feel like it wouldn't move. I don't know if y'all can understand that, but that's what I would do different. Have you ever made churros? I made them in school. I have not made them at home. It, it's, it's something really interesting to make. You really have to have it down to a science. Because if you mess up the ingredients, the cake is going to go, or, or I mean your churro is not going to turn out right. It's, it's like an art to make the, the batter. Um, I, I have to really think, uh, I think the batter is called, don't quote me, because I could be totally wrong. I think, y'all, I could talk food all day. I think, Raymond, that the batter is called pat patashoe batter. I could be wrong. But patashu, you have to stay right with it. You have to stir it. You have to have it a certain temperature. And then you're able to squeeze it out into the oil and make the churros. But um, it, it's, it's, it's a hard technique to do, I think. <laughs> I, I, I could be wrong. <laughs> Do you like fireworks on the 4th of July or do you, do you light fire? Oh, okay. So, um, we do the sparklers, uh, the jumbo sparklers, but we like to watch them as well a little bit. Yeah. Graham crackers and you have pudding. Absolutely. You get inspired when you come all here. Oh my goodness. That's great. That's what I want for you all. I want you all to get inspired. I want you all to see these recipes and think, you know what, Gina, I think I can do it. Thomas Smith has a question. Okay, thank you, Ron. Okay, let's see. Thomas, where are you? Thomas says, what cake did you make in a bun pan with the filling in the middle? Um, I, I was saying that I made it's almost like an eclair. It was a yellow cake. I made two. Two. I don't know why I'm doing this. I made two cakes, two round cakes. They were yellow. I put vanilla pudding in the inside, and I made a chocolate a ganache to put on top. And it reminds you of that the donut that has the yellow pudding in the inside and the chocolate glaze on top. So I did that, and what I was saying is, I think next time I'll put like a barrier of cream cheese icing, a ring barrier of cream cheese icing, then I'll put the vanilla pudding in the inside, put the other cake on top, and then make my chocolate ganache. But if you check my channel, you'll see it. All you gotta do, all you gotta do, go to my dessert playlist. You're gonna see that, you're gonna be able to rock out on all of the desserts that I've ever made throughout the years. I've made a lot of desserts, and a lot of them is using pre-made cake mixes. But I tell you what, they are good. Penny, welcome. Thank you for coming in. Welcome, welcome, Penny. Okay, who's ready to cut the cake? Is anybody out there, if you're ready to cut the cake, give me red hearts in the comment section. We gonna cut this cake and we gonna try it. And what I want for you all to do, I want you to, when I come over here with the cake on the plate, I want you to examine the inside of this cake, how moist it is, and hopefully you can see how delicious it is. I want you to be able to taste this cake through the phone because you gotta try it. Okay, I'm seeing all the hearts. Everybody's ready to try it. We're getting ready to slice down into this baby. Me, 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 okay. All right, this is great. Cut it, Gina. Okay, we're getting ready to. So the first thing that I wanna do, I, I need to stir my cabbage. Cut that cake, girl. Okay, I gotta stir my cabbage, all right? And then I'm gonna grab the cake out I need to put my cutting board back onto the counter. 
We're gonna slice it. You all get to try it. Oh, you do? You do? Uh-oh, everybody's excited. Okay, Gina, I love your colors today. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's flip this camera around. I want to stir this real quick. Y'all, my cabbage smells so good right now. I can't wait to eat the cabbage. All right? Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we thank you on today for each and every person in this live. I pray that you bless over all of our lives. Please forgive us for when we sin. Come into our hearts and make you our Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful dessert. Thank you for the roof over our head. Thank you for your mercy. Give us a peace of mind. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. <laughs> All right. Where am I? I think, I think I'm going to cut right in the middle. You know how, you ever heard anybody say, the first cut is hard to get out? Right, you've heard that before. So since the first cut is hard to get out sometimes because the cake is so moist, I'm going to go right in the middle and take that part out. I Because I like the edge, but I feel like the edge is, you know, going to be hard to take out on camera. All right, hold on, let me get a paper towel. Oh, it's all exciting, I know. You should be excited. What are you talking about? <laughs> get ready, get ready. Mm. <laughs> I know. I keep wiping this because I want to make sure y'all can see the cake, if it makes any sense to you. All right, let's go in for it. Honey, child. Honey, honey, honey. Woo wee. All right, come on up. Come on up. Oh my goodness, look at that. And mm, 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 mm. that. Okay. All right. off so you can see but I'm gonna eat it mm, 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 mm. 
Can you all see the moist? Come, come look close. Can you see the moist? Can you see the moist right there? Like I'm pointing at it. Can you see it? Yeah. Nah, you better, you better make it so. All right, so now, mm, mm, mm. let's look down inside of the cake pan. I can't, I can't stop myself, y'all. Mm. Can you see it? Okay. I'm coming around. We can really taste this cake. Put that cake in the refrigerator. Don't lick the phone. <laughs> all right. This is all exciting. This is all. Let's see. Can I get some light on myself? Let's see. I'm going to have to come down this way. So you can see. There's something special. Okay, I know you can see it right there. Can you see the caramel that is pulled right there? Can you see, oh my goodness. Can, I know you can see the caramel that just went down in that area. And, and right there, Alyssa. All right. <laughs> I see the people. The people are saying yum. But that's nothing. We have to try. We have to try. Go ahead and taste this. Let, let, y'all, let me know what you think about this recipe. I'm going in. Mm -hmm. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. Mmm. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. I know, I know right now you can see that caramel. That is the caramel and the sweetened condensed milk right there that you're seeing right there. Say it again. Oh, say it again. Oh, is it good? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't mess that cake up, Dakota. I'm going to hurt you. Ah! Use a spatula. Uh, 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 uh. I'll cut your piece because I feel like, uh, uh, don't do that. Wait a second. Just wait. What, what, you about to tear the cake up. Y'all, he about to tear the cake up. He about to tear the cake up. <laughs> One more dance. <laughs> Do it again, Gina. Listen. Listen. Mm. There is a moistness. They said, stop, Dakota. <laughs> there is a moistness to this cake that you never had ever in your life. It ain't like any type of old cake that you just had, and it's just a regular cake. This is not just a regular cake. Like, we put love into this cake, and it is so stinking good. Oh, my goodness. Like, do my eyes roll in my head or do anything crazy when I... Let's, let's see what happens to my eyes. Mm. 
I don't know. It's like I can't see. <laughs> Maybe I have my eyes closed. I don't know. <laughs> Look how moist. Can you see? I know you can see how moist. I know you can see how moist. Because it's caramel. That is caramel. thing when you decided that you wanted to put toffee pieces on top of this my goodness Gina knock it out the park mm, you made a good decision mm. Mm -hmm. and the cool whip the cool whip with the caramel and the sweetened condensed milk going through it is like okay miss karen says next level mm -hmm. it's the best icing you ever went to your local store and you thought oh i like that whipped icing it ain't got nothing on this icing we decided to put whipped icing sweetened condensed milk and caramel into the whip taste y'all <laughs> just taste it Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Put the cake on the market, Gina. <laughs> it's going to sell fast. I got to walk away from this. Y'all know I'm diabetic. I shouldn't be having it. Mm. Cake in my hair. Oh, my goodness. Get out of there. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. It's my hair. Relax, y'all. It's my hair. Mm. <laughs> Nimsy. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you test your blood sugar after eating this cake, the glucose monitor will, will, will run away from me. in your hair means the cake was good mm. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and cut your piece Dakota I don't want to yell at you but I didn't want you to destroy the cake it's really hard to cut it you got to be careful because right now the cake is so moist I'll go ahead and cut your piece right now hold on y'all Let me show them your piece. Let me show y'all his piece, y'all. Look at his piece. Look at that right there. That's all sweetened condensed milk right there. That's all caramel shining through there. Look at that. Oh, you better make yourself. <laughs> Somebody says, oh my goodness. Okay, put this cake up, okay? Oh, yeah. There's your cake. And that is just how easily this cake is made it's made easy and it's good and it, I could I couldn't eat all of it I'm not allowed excuse me I made your orange chicken the other day oh penny please tell do tell do tell do tell what you thought what do you think about it Okay, and then somebody else says, dang, Gina, you going to get me up off this couch to go make it right now? You are selling that thing. Yes, Ellie. Listen. The recipe, mm, mm, mm. it's good. 
I made it one time for my husband's side of the family. They went nuts over it. They was like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This cake is good. I really like it. It's a, it's a showstopper. This cake is a showstopper is what it is. It'll stop everything that's going on. People are going to be looking, who, who made this? You know, some people might think it's a dessert. Some people know that it's a cake. But I tell you what, when you sink your teeth down into a cake like this, it's going to change your thoughts on what a cake should taste like. It, it will, I promise you. Oh, it will. <clears throat> Where's the dogs at? Cut me a slice while you're getting Dakotas. <laughs> he tearing that cake up, y'all. He is tearing. Oh, thank you, Mary. Uh, your name is Alyssa. I'm doing okay. How are you? Thank you for coming in and joining today. I was cool before you cut the cake. Now I want, now I got a sweet tooth. I better make you some. Oh, you better make you some. Absolutely, you'll love it. And it was easy to make. Now listen, Dakota, leave no crumbs. <laughs> I don't think he's gonna. He ain't gonna leave no. Guess what, y'all? Everybody give it up for Dakota. Guess what? He looked at his report card for the last session of the school year. Honor roll. Honor roll. He made the honor roll. He made the honor roll. So how exciting. They had a big message to him. He put it on his um, TV for me. How big is your TV? 75 inch. And it's a big, big message goes across and said, congratulations, you made the honor roll. So yes, we're proud of him. Go Dakota, okay. So he made the honor roll the first and the second quarter, right? The third quarter, he barely made it. So he didn't make the third quarter honor roll. But this fourth quarter, he made honor roll. So we're really proud of him. He did such, thank y'all. He did such a great job. They told him he's on his way to the next grade and he should be proud of himself. Good job, he worked really hard. He worked really, really hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, he did. Great job, Dakota, says Ron Wilson. He said, congratulations, buddy. Dakota said, thank you, Ron. Way to go, Dakota, says Sonia. Angela says, congratulations. Alan said, congratulations. Deborah says, congratulations. Christopher says, that's a blessing. G. Hugh just said, boop, 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 Angela, welcome. <laughs> So y'all, I'm gonna make this short. We're gonna go for a ride. And we wanna do it before it gets too late. It's fairly nice outside. And I don't wanna miss the nice weather, but I'm so glad that I was able to come in and show you all one of my favorite cakes. Now, the next time I make a cake for you all, I have to show you how to make my Butterfinger. I know. I got a Butterfinger cake that will turn you out. It, it will, it will, it will. Butterfinger cake. So, hold on y'all, let me read this message. Hold on, hold on, y'all. I got Mildred messaging me, y'all. Hold on a second. Okay, that was Mildred. She had to rush off of here. Okay. 
Let's keep Mildred and her family in prayers. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray, Lord, that you put a blessing up on her and her family. In the sweet name of Jesus, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer on today. And we thank you ahead of time, Lord, for answering this prayer. Okay, Miss Tress says, I love Butterfinger. If you love Butterfinger, listen here. But listen, let me ask you a question before I go. Thank you all. Absolutely praying for Mildred and her family right now at this time. Thank you all. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you all. Amazing hat, Gina. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so how many of you all think that you just might want to try this recipe? After seeing me make it, after seeing the whole process, do you think that you would like to try this recipe? Oh, thank you, Ron. Thank you. Ron, give Kathy a big hug for me and tell her I said hello. Oh, Christy says she wants to try it. Okay, Karen is going to try it. I've made the, oh, you made the Butterfinger cake two years ago. Penny, well, look at you. I am Gina, said Kizzy. Okay, y'all. So listen, I'm going to get off so we can have some time. To, and I got to eat. I got to eat, um, not the cake, but I, I want to eat some cabbage. I'm going to get some shoes on so we can go for a nice ride while the weather is nice out. I love all of you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for loving me and being a part of my extended family. Thank you to my amazing moderators, which is Ron Wilson. Thank you so much. I love you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you, Sonia. I love you so much from the bottom of my heart. And also Mildred, we're praying for her. I love you as well. Thank you for everything you all do for me. Thank you all to the subscribers, everybody that's new that has subscribed to me. I love you guys so much. Well, remember I told you all, in a month, we're going to be doing a raffle. And we're going to be doing some nice prizes for the raffle. So that'll be really exciting. I love y'all. Give me a big hug before we get off of here. Give me a hug. And listen, make the recipe. It doesn't take, it doesn't, it's not pricey. Easy to make. Make it with a family member. And then um, if you have any questions when you're making the cake, just email me and I'll be glad, if I can. Just email me and ask, say, Gina, I'm making the cake and I got this issue. I'm asking you, well, what do I do? Or just feel free to look at my video for how to make this cake and, and pause it, rewind it, fast forward it, whatever you got to do. Look at this live and because I'm showing you in detail how to make it. I love you. I'm getting off. God bless. Good night, all of you. Thank you, Sonia. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys. I love you. Have a, great, have a great, great night. Let's keep Mildred and her family in our prayers. Good night.